It is Monday, February the 5th, 2024, in the evening, and this is a message for church masons and theologians who have a perverse, perverse doctrine that is used to ensnare women in ways that cause them to submit themselves went to a biblical teaching in an effort to build the lives they want and deserve. And I mention this because there are women who are church members who are not aware that they are being held because their husbands need to build their churches. All churches have to start somewhere and then they're able to move into their own buildings and so on and so forth which is what they're really building and um i mentioned this because i wanted to ask these theologians how many wives lot had well we know he had at least two because he had two daughters and the woman who turned to salt was not their mother and then i wanted to ask how many wives did jacob have and how did he acquire those wives before he had to wrestle and have his hip thrown by God to receive the full inheritance that he had been promised? And that brings me to Ephesians 5. And I have always said in challenging uh, men during Bible classes who wanted to focus on that verse in terms of how women should behave uh, in their homes as Christians to not come at me with verse 522 unless you are 100% on the rest of that entire chapter. So I want women who are trying to um, get out of church theology um, so that they can have happy, healthy homes minus the abuse um, of a Luke 17 type of church philosophy, which is a forgive 70 times seven, you know, in other words, remain in your domestic situation, regardless of how you're being treated or how you feel. Um, and for people to share this with those women in hopes that they will reconsider, or at least be in a position where they can ask themselves the questions if they aren't uh, quite courageous enough to confront the men about these questions.